Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. So, it's time for another episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations, but I want to try and do it a little differently. Now, in the past, for Scrap Mechanic Creations, I would typically try and turn one creation into an entire video. Now, the new way that I want to do it is I want to showcase multiple builds in a single episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations, and that is typically going to be recapping the previous builds that we've built together in live streams. Now, the reason for this change is because typically Typically, in an episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations, when I'm doing a single build, I feel like I start rambling on about nonsense, and it gets kind of boring, and it loses the point of just checking out some cool creations. So I'm really hoping that this is just going to be a better format, it's going to be a little more fun to watch, and we get to see more cool creations. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at three creations. We've got the K-Max helicopter on the left there. Now that is a really cool helicopter with intermeshing blades, so we're going to take a look at that, fly it around. We also have a really awesome World War two motorcycle with sidecar and mounted machine gun and we're also going to be taking a trip to a go-kart track where we're going to be racing this really awesome go-kart now it's going to be loads of fun so let's get started now, the first creation we're going to be taking a look at is that K-Max helicopter, which is the strangest helicopter ever because it has blades that are side by side, they spin on an angle, and they never hit each other. It's such a weird contraption. Now, this helicopter overall, though, is really cool. It was a lot of fun to build during the live stream. So, intermeshing blades. Now, it sounds weird, and that's because it is really weird. Now, you can see here we have the dual blades that are side by side, but you can see they start in opposite positions with the right blade here extended parallel to the helicopter and then the left one perpendicular. Now the best way to understand this is to just see it in action. So here we go guys in three, two, one. We're gonna start the blades and there we go. They are spinning, they are not touching each other, and they are intermeshing. Now, oh, what's that guys? You didn't actually quite catch that, but I mean look, you can see they're, they're not hitting. Okay, okay. What we're going to do here is we're going to slow down the electric motor right here. Now, this is the electric engine that is controlling both of those blades. We're going to turn it down really low. I'm going to hit the switch, and there we go. So now you can see the blades spinning, and this is the exact same thing that they would be doing if they were full speed. Now, this was a little bit easier to make than I really thought it was going to be. During the stream, we discussed adding like a gear system or some type of control system that moved them together where they didn't touch each other, but... The reality is the electric engine is actually so consistent in this game that when the blades are spinning, no matter how slow or how fast, they always spin at the same revolution. All right, so I'm going to try and jump up onto the roof of this helicopter just like so. Okay, there we go. Now, this is probably the best way to see it up close and personal with these intermeshing blades. And look at that, guys. It is such a satisfying thing to see. They just keep on spinning and they come so close to touching, but they just never actually touch. But here we go, guys. We're going to just kind of flop up into the air just like so. Now, you can see those blades are still in action. And I think I have flown this thing uh, for maybe a couple hours. And I have probably only seen the blades collide once, which I think is actually extremely impressive. Now, of course, this helicopter has all of your standard helicopter stuff. It's got a built-in digital gyro, so that way it will never tip over. Now, one problem that this helicopter does have is I decided to use the wing mod in the back. Now... That is actually a bit of a problem because when I press the downward thrust and if I hold it for a little too long, look at that, you can see the front of the helicopter starts to dip down again, but the gyro, of course, does save it really quickly. So we're going to try and do a little bit of a precision landing here. Now I'm going to try and not make the nose dip down too much. Now you can see there is a little bit of a peak of a mountain, so we're going to lower our helicopter down ever so slightly. All right, here we go. So we are right above the peak of that mountain. Now we do have that strafe ability, which is probably essential for a helicopter. You want to be able to turn left and right just like so. Now here we go, nice and easy. Easy, right there, just like that. Okay, whoa, all right, there we go. We have landed above the peak of this mountain. So guys, this helicopter is absolutely fantastic. The intermeshing blades turned out really, really good. And there's gonna be links in the description if you wanna go and check these builds out for yourself. All right, so next up, we've got the World War II motorcycle with sidecar and machine gun. Now, guys, this was a true test of abilities, trying to build as small as I could as well as keeping as much of the detail as possible. Now we definitely had to get pretty creative with this build and trying to make it look as good as possible, but I wanna thank everybody who tunes into my streams and gives me positive feedback and really just wants to see some awesome builds because I have to thank you guys 
for just how awesome this motorcycle is. Now, a couple funny things to point out about the motorcycle and how it was designed. You can see this front fender right here. Now, this fender is actually mounted onto some invisible stuff. There you go. You can actually see it with the weld tool. We have an invisible pipe. Okay, wait, can I keep it? Okay, you know what? We're just going to look at it on the wheel. There, you can see the invisible pipes wrapping around to the left and up. Now, that is where the fender is attached. And you can also see right there, there is more pipes that go up on the right side, and those are connected to the light. But you can't actually appreciate how funny it actually is until you put it on the lift. So let's just pop it on the lift here. You can see we've got a light down here. We also have the fender and the wheel down low as well, and then the fenders in the weird positions in the back. Now, once we remove the lift, there we go, you can see everything kind of flips up and into place. And of course, over here, guys, we do have the sidecar with machine gun, so we can hop in to the passenger seat right here, and you aim with W, A, S, and D just like so, really, really easy. You can press and hold one, and there you go, you can launch Spud. So you can have a buddy driving the motorcycle while you're back here on the sidecar taking shots. All right, so I have gotten ourselves in a weird predicament here, guys. We've got this motorcycle at the top of this mountain so I guess we're gonna have to try and get down somehow I'm thinking maybe there's a little bit of space right here so we're gonna inch our way into that gap okay here we go come on launch the motorcycle off come on we got this there we go oh boy okay we're falling we're falling, we hit the cliff, barrel roll, oh, oh, of course, totally upside down. So this build is definitely not extremely complicated. This was more of a test for myself to see how small I could build while maintaining that detail. And like I mentioned, guys, I think this did turn out pretty good in that regard. I feel like you could definitely go even smaller, but it's just a different world, guys. When you shrink down in scrap mechanic builds, everything just gets a little more difficult. And I know I say this pretty often, guys, but I think this is my new favorite build that I've created. All right, so the next creation that we're going to be taking a look at is this little tiny go-kart. Now, much like the World War II motorcycle, this was a little bit more of a test of small creations, trying to cram in some cool details and such. So I'm really happy with the way the engine turned out. You can see here we've got all sorts of really awesome little thin pipes and stuff that go to various little things. We got a fuel tank back here. We even have an air filter as well as an awesome radiator too. Now, a lot of these things came from suggestions from viewers like you guys in the live stream. So as always, guys, were you in any of these live streams? If you were, let me know down in the comments. But we're going to hop into the go-kart here and do a quick lap of the track. So you guys are going to also be able to get this go-kart down below. I'm going to leave a link to the Steam Workshop so you can get this thing as well as this go-kart tile. So here we go. We're going to do a quick little lap around the tile so you guys can see what this is all about. Now, it's kind of annoying. We do have quite a bit of bouncing with this little go-kart, and there's really not much you can do when it comes to these little tiny creations. Now, I do think that these 2 by one wheels, they are an odd size for the game, and I believe that that is kind of a contributing factor as to why they bounce around so much. So you can see though this track is quite large, and you can race whatever you wanted on it. It doesn't have to be this little go-kart, but we're just going to kind of do a quick little tour here. You can see it turns around over there with a big wide turn, and then right here we have this really awesome banked turn that you go around, and I do believe this kind of leads you in to the final stretch right here. And then this is going to bring us back around to the start and finish line, and we also have have a really awesome little pit stop area here so if we can make our way towards that there we go guys we're gonna take the go-kart in to the little pit stop section right here now it's kind of unfortunate I did have some other awesome assets in this tile but you guys know how amazing the tile editor is and uh, they didn't all load unfortunately all right guys so that is going to be the video for today I hope you did enjoy this new format of scrap mechanic creations again let me know down in the comments what you think now guys of course if you did enjoy the video or the builds then perhaps let me know by hitting that like button and guys if you did enjoy it and you want to see some more endless scrap mechanic then consider subscribing to the channel and maybe even turning on some notifications so you can get the latest and the craziest coming from me in scrap mechanics so guys I want to thank you all for watching, as always. Uh, make sure you tune in to the live streams every Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays at 1 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time. Guys, it's always a good time, and you guys can help contribute to all of these awesome builds. Now, with that said, of course, everybody, thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next one, so bye for now. Okay, um technical difficulties um bye bye for now and bye for now mm -hmm.